Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I have my regular lesson, but I just want to vlog it because I want to start getting off schedule, and today I'm wearing Tonka, so we have to go get him, but um, there's this new pony in this girl, and it's super good, right now is riding her, and I'm a little jealous because I really like him, it's the video where I'm like trotting those shirts and my sneakers. But um, let's go get him. Alright. I'm a little nervous because one of my friends, Lisa's Tonka, and I don't want to get mad because I'm riding him before her. Um, not my idea, but I'm going to show him, I like, the show, and I don't want, I think she's already kind of upset about that, but like, I can't control other people's ideas. Hello, good sir. Buddy. little preppy grooming kit. Oh gosh, let's go get a curry comb. that video. Okay, so now we're going to curry comb him. He has this like little gross grass mark, but other than that, he's pretty clean. He's so tiny. Like compared to Biscuit, he's small. I love that like funny trend that's like, I want a blue slush. What size? No. <laughs> okay, I think he's good for curry combing. Now we need this pink brush. Don't worry, I'm going to tuck my shirt in, in a little bit. <sighs> he's, he's so small. He needs to be clipped. He's a fluffy monster. I really hope my friend's not mad, but she probably will be. Let's um attack his mane because it's on the wrong side. That's what they do in like um Europe. They have it on the other side. 
Like here in America. I'll go on this side. My friend pulled his mane, but still kind of long, but a lot better than it was. It should be like around here. Cut it in half. Ready? Go. Okay, so let's go get saddle pads and stuff so that we can, um, you know, tack up because we kind of need a saddle pad. Um, if you're wondering why this is very awkward, it's because it is. Alright, this is our saddle pad selection. I don't know what to do about it. I kind of want to use a baby pad, but I really don't like baby pads. Maybe just like a thin one. I'll go with this one. It's a baby pad, and it has someone's initials. I'm sure that was a great angle. Hi, Mommy. Okay, we've got L satchel pad. Now we need the pack. That was cool. <laughs> That's definitely not his girth. That's like twice the size of it. It's like someone else's girth. And that's okay. Alright. It's so cold in there. It feels so nice. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now we go into the Hot Mess Express. Oh, my sister, this horse got like, had a bad cut and she had to use my clippers. And they have like blood all over them. And they're gross. Don't show that. <laughs> no! I hate this. This is rigged. It's meant to go against me. Oops. Right. First, before we tack him up, we fly spray. Okay. But, 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 but. We're going to pretend this is like a how to tack up. Because, alright. First, you saw me brush him. Then you're going to fly spray. Try to avoid the saddle area. But make sure I get, like, the legs. And his neck. Mm, I'm sorry. That was a mouthful of fly spray. Next, not a lot of you probably have this, but it's this little thing. I got it when we were at Marshall and Sterling, and it's to like roll around their eyes. I'm sorry, I need to pick out your boogers. I know you don't like it, but you have to deal with it. Okay, there we go. Wasn't a lot, but it's good. Alright. I'm sorry if you hear these, like, random noises. It's because I keep hitting my microphone on accident. I'm going to... Oh, I need to put this back. One second. I'm back. Alright, now I can tuck my shirt in. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, 
I'll be right back. You can stop the video. Ready? Okay, so we needed to get this because he has a very like curve in back. So he needs this. So I don't see. Like. Oh. Alright. So, how to tack up 101 with me? Okay. So, first, you're going to use your saddle pad of choice. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to put it on like so. You want to make sure the sides are even. And that's all nice and good and neat. And then you're going to want, if you're, if you're using a square pad slash baby pad, you're going to need this half pad. Mine's disgusting because I got it like a couple of years ago. So you want to put it up there a little bit. And for him, you don't have to do this with all horses. Like I said, he has a curved back. So you're going to want to put that right there. Like right by the end of the thing. Then you're going to need a saddle. But I always forget this because Fiona, I rode her for like four years and she didn't have Martingale. So I always forget Martingales, but you're supposed to do Martingale first. Don't judge me. Alright, so you have to untake your eight, this, and then you're going to take this out. Put the longer side facing towards the pony. Okay. And then you slip it on. If your pony is face shy, then you're going to probably want to put a little bit more over their ears. You're going to, if it slides back, just pull it up. Then you to check both sides to see if they're good or bad. Then you grab your girth. And then normally there are little straps here, but since it's a baby pad, it doesn't have that. Then you're going to put it on the first hole over here. And then once you're going to switch sides. And you're going to squat down if you have to. Then put the girth through this little loop on the martingale. And you're going to pull it up and away. Then you're going to put it on maybe second or third hole. Depends on the pony. And you're going to pull that down a little bit and put it on. And right now, I'll teach you how to roll up your stirrup if it, after you're done with your lesson. Once you have your stirrup, then you're going to hold, hold this part, put the stirrups up, put through the stirrup, and leave it. That was tacking up with my foot! So now we're going to tack up the four eyes in the girth. We have like maybe five minutes, so yeah. Are other people so kind of whispering, kind of not? Like, all right, now we're the bridle. All right, this is how the bridle. In case you didn't know, um, so first you're going to put the reins over the head, and you're going to unclip cross ties or ropes or something then you're going to undo the halter then you're going to put it like here or in your locker or something then you're going to move the nose band and the throat latch out of the way then you're going to put it in there 
if they refuse to take it, then you have to like put your thumb in the back so that they have to open up. But if you don't have to do that, it's pretty easy. Then you're going to put the nose band through the cheek pieces. Back. Then you're going to do it on the other side. Then, if your horse has a martingale, you're going to stop. You're going to put it, put the throat, I mean nose band, through the martingale. Then put it to whatever hole is needed. Then put it through the little loops. I swear to God, if you do that again. Then you have to find the second little loop. Then throw it back. Stop. Whatever one fits. Make sure there's a fist in there. And put that one through. Find the other one. Put that one through. Check your girth again. And if it's still loose in the ring, then you can tighten it. That's it for today. Bye, guys.